Hello and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is day number 263. It comes from somewhere that is not America, but I'm not going to give you any hints because some of the questions revolve around where they're from. So Chris and Gina Philpot have sent a 21 question random knowledge trivia quiz. 20 questions up front. You got a question 21 tiebreaker at the end of the episode. We'll talk more about Chris and Gina after the episode. Here is question number one, though. What city in southeastern Alberta, Canada is known as the Gas City, due to it being built on one of North America's largest natural gas fields, and was once described by Rudyard Kipling as having all hell for a basement? Now, if you personally know Chris and Gina Philpot, you might have a pretty good idea of what city they're talking about. This city in southeastern Alberta is called Medicine Hat. Question number two. First played by British Army officers stationed in India, this sport is named after a derogatory term used to describe inexperienced or first-year military personnel. What is this game that was devised in 1875 by Army officer Neville Chamberlain? Not to be confused with the former UK Prime Minister with the same name. Army officer Neville Chamberlain created snooker. Question number three. This airport in the south of England with the code LGW has been in use for commercial flights since 1933. Its first terminal was known as the Beehive for its innovative circular design, but it became obsolete in the 1950s. What is this airport that currently has two terminals, north and south? I have flown in and out of this airport a couple of times. It's Gatwick, London Gatwick Airport. Question number four. Fairview Lawn Cemetery is the resting place of over 100 victims of the 1912 sinking of the Titanic. It also has the site of a mass grave of victims from a major explosion caused by a 1917 collision of two ships in what Canadian city's harbor? By the way, I, I had to spell harbor like that because that's how they spell it in Canada. The answer is Halifax, Nova Scotia. Question number five. With the advantage of not requiring a writing implement, paper, or an electrical power source, what calculating tool has been in use since ancient times and remains in everyday use today in some countries, typically by merchants and traders? That old adding tool is called an abacus, or an abacus. Question number six. Originating as an occupational surname, Chandler is a name that was applied to the person in a wealthy medieval household responsible for these items, and is now used to describe a person involved in making or selling what items? Nowadays, a Chandler is involved in making and selling candles. Question number seven, derived from the Latin meaning decorated with ribbons, a lemon skate is a curve with a characteristic shape of two loops that meet at a central point, and which is now used as the symbol representing which mathematical concept? If you got to see a picture of a lemnus gate, you would know exactly what I'm talking about, but this is not picture trivia, so the answer is infinity. You either got it or you didn't. Question number eight. Although Presbyterians describes followers of a particular religious denomination that began in the 16th century, it is also the anagram of the name of which toxic American singer often referred to as the Princess of Pop, who was born on December 2nd, 1981.
If you rearrange the word Presbyterians, you get Britney Spears, the princess of pop. Question number nine, this U.S. state, nicknamed the Pine Tree State, is home to the Kennebec River, the Acadia National Park, and has more than 60 historic lighthouses scattered along its coast. What is this state that is the only state whose name consists of only one syllable? has a lot of lighthouses, but it does not have the most lighthouses. The answer is Maine. Question number 10. Built between 1950 and 51, the SS United States is the largest ocean liner constructed entirely within the United States, and it is recognized as being the last holder of which unofficial accolade given to passenger liners that cross the Atlantic Ocean with the highest average speed? That award was called the Blue Riband. Question number 11. Played for centuries throughout parts of Europe, Africa, Asia, and the Persian Gulf, which woodwind instrument generates sound by using enclosed reeds fed from a reservoir of air that was traditionally made from the skin of an animal, typically a sheep? That reservoir of air was also known as a bag. The answer is bagpipes. Question number 12. Due to a demand for pictures of a green Versace dress worn by Jennifer Lopez at the 42nd Grammy Awards ceremony in February of 2000, which World Wide Web specific search engine was introduced on July 12, 2001? It's kind of a tricky one because it's still Google, but it's specifically Google Images where you can actually look up by the picture. Google Images is the answer. Question 13. Nylon is the name given to a family of synthetic polymers invented by researchers at DuPont between 1927 and 1938. Shown at the 1939 New York World's Fair, it was first used commercially in 1938. In what product? It was not used in undergarments for some time. Originally, it was used as the bristles of a toothbrush. Question number 14. Although there have been several attempts through history to ban it, what now popular beverage was tasted by Pope Clement VIII, who allegedly announced that this Satan's drink is so delicious that it would be a pity to let the infidels have exclusive use of it? I don't know how true that statement is, but I know it makes a good advertisement. The answer is coffee. Endorsed by the Pope. Question number 15. In computer programming, debugging is the process of finding and resolving defects or problems within computer programs. The term is popularly attributed to Admiral Grace Hopper after her associates found what stuck inside a relay inside a Harvard University computer in 1947. It was obviously a bug. What kind of bug? The answer is a moth. Question 16. Most commonly used by knights fighting on horseback, sabatons are a part of a knight's body armor made of riveted iron plates. They started to appear from the mid-14th century, and they were used to provide protection to which part of the body? Sabatons protected the top of your feet while you were riding horseback. Feet is the answer. Question number 17, first sold in 1928 by the Chillicothe Baking Company in Missouri, 
What is the convenient food product that was subject to a short-lived ban in 1943 as a wartime conservation measure and is now the subject of a popular idiom describing something amazing, outstanding, or praiseworthy? Now when you think something is nice, you say that's the greatest thing since sliced bread. Question number 18 with a name originating from aguilé, the French word for needle. What is the name given to the small sheath, often made of plastic or metal, that is attached to the end of a shoelace to prevent the fibers from unraveling? From aguilet, the answer, that is called an aglet. Question number 19. The game of pool, or pocket billiards, is a cue sport played on a cloth-covered table bounded by elastic bumpers known as cushions, which have six openings, or pockets, into which players attempt to shoot balls. Which cue sport, also known as French billiards, is played on a table that has no pockets? French billiards is known as Carome. And question 20. In 1968, Douglas Engelbart of the Stanford Research Institute first publicly demonstrated this device, which used two separate wheels to track movement across a surface. It has since evolved into what essential device for using modern computers? That device is the mouse. All right, that is it. That is the quiz for today. Thank you, Chris and Gina Philpot from Medicine Hat, Alberta, Canada. You guys were the first quiz writers from outside the United States to submit a trivia quiz for the Quizlet Challenge. Thank you very much. Hopefully, you've received your road trip kit and hopefully you're putting it to good use. Get some road trips in before the end of summer. Fall and winter will be here before you know it. Thank you again to everybody who watched today's trivia. If you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and do that right now. And that way, every day when we post a new trivia quiz, you'll be reminded of when it's happening. The next couple weeks are all going to be viewer-submitted trivia quizzes. So we're going to have questions from all over the world. Here's question 21 for today. Recognized as one of the most impressive architectural feats in history, the Great Wall of China is a series of fortifications built across the historical northern borders of China. How long in Canadian kilometers is it? It's not actually Canadian kilometers, just regular kilometers. The answer is 21,196 kilometers. Whichever player got closest to 21,196 is going to win the point. Let's say the game was tied 10 to 10 when you got to the tiebreaker and somebody said it was 15 kilometers long and somebody said it was 21,195 miles long. Even though nobody got it exactly right, the person who said 21,195 kilometers is going to get the point and break the tie and win the whole game. Congratulations to that person. Thank you to Chris and Gina. See everybody tomorrow.